Hello everyone, nice to have you back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic, the cluster. As you see on the left hand side, the center chrome cap came off. Odometer and trip meter are not working anymore. Actually this comes quite handy since my car does not count the miles no more. But you would fail MOT. You will not get the stamp with past written on it. Several different cogs are being assembled in the center part of the cluster, right behind the face of the odometer. The lubricant of the cogs is deteriorating due to time, becomes thick and dense, the cogs interlock with more tension and get worn out due to abrasion, wear and tear, increased friction. Until the cock is worn out to an extent that is not engaging anymore, there is a repair set with three cocks, the ones which are likely to wear out and break. I will include a link below at the video description to order this repair set for little money. How to replace them is the topic of this video, we will start right after the introduction. Here we go, speedometer, odometer, trip meter, which is the centerpiece of the instrument cluster. How to disassemble the cluster was the topic in another video, when we repaired the clock. I'll include a link to that previous video above on the right hand side. Our job is to replace the broken cops. At first glance, see that this one there does not even engage anymore with the other cop. The repair set has two larger cops and a very small one which wears out the most. To remove the assembly from its housing I'll have to undo these four screws so we can get to the back of the assembly. Be careful and make sure that the hand, the needle, is not moving. It would be best to put the small finger of your left hand on the needle so it does not move. The other four fingers hold the assembly in place, actually a job for a watchmaker. Alright, all four screws are removed. Next step, put the housing on the table and slide out the assembly upwards. To get to the broken cups, this transparent protective cover needs to go. It is being held in place with two screws. I suggest you make a couple of snapshots, otherwise you will not remember how and where to put the right cops in the right place. At the small cop, two teeth are already missing, no surprise it does not engage anymore. I'll start by removing the small cop first, just pull it from the metal shaft. Look at this, cracked on one side, broken in fragments, not engaging for sure. The cup we need to change is at the bottom. Remove the white cup first by pulling it from the shaft. Then gently remove the black twin cup, always be gentle, take your time. You see, the lubricant got sticky. All properties of a lubricant are gone to minimize friction. Do not forget to take pictures from every step you move forward. This one here has to go as well, why keep an old one when I got a new cop at hand for replacement.
Well, all three old cogs got replaced. The cogs are on the two shafts. I put it in the transparent cover first, but it is easier to slide the shafts with the cogs into the assembly first and then put the cover on. Make sure the two shafts slide snugly into the provided holes. Once the cover is in place, all you do is to put these two screws back into place. That's about it. Well, it looks good to me. Nice. While you are there and after all the trouble of removing cluster and instruments, changing cogs like a watchmaker, have a look at the needle if it needs a fresh coat of paint. I suggest you use some compressed air to blow the dust of for 40 years away. We are far away from happy hour. We need to remove another assembly of instruments with a nut size 6 to put a chrome center cup back in place which came off. Later on, when reassembling the cluster, make sure that mass is being connected to all the parts, middle, left and right, by giving this part, where the hole is, a wipe with sandpaper to ensure they are firmly touching each other. See, here and over there, the back of the housing. They have to touch metal on metal, a clear indication of malfunctioning, therefore no connection, is a jumping needle of the rev gauge. Sandpaper is doing the job nicely. Don't forget, happened to me. Do not say, I have not told you. Hope it does not fall apart. See, this center chrome cap came off. Well. We have accomplished replacing the broken and worn out cocks. Let me hammer away on one thing. Make sure you got metal on metal to a proper mass connection. Otherwise you have to remove the cluster again to make the instruments work properly. Hope you have liked this video. I do repairs of clusters too. Just need to send them to me by mail. Bye bye everyone. Take care. I have